The Cult of Don Manifesto by Brad Pettis and Keo Stark. There are three stages of being, not knowing, action, completion. Accept that everything is a draft. It helps to get it done. There is no editing stage. Pretending you know what you are doing is almost the same as knowing what you are doing. So just accept that you know what you are doing, even if you don't and do it. Banish procrastination. If you wait more than a week to get an idea done, abandon it. The point of being done is not to finish, but to get other things done. Once you are done, you can throw it away. Laugh at perfection. It's boring and keeps you from being done. People without dirty hands are wrong. Doing something makes you right. Failure counts as done. So do mistakes. Destruction is a variant of done. If you have an idea and publish it on the internet, that counts as a gust of done. Done is the engine of more. My name is David Orban and this is The Context. Brad Pettis wrote together with Kia Stark The Cult of Done Manifesto in 2009. He then went on founding MakerBot and uh, is, I'm sure, doing exciting things today. At the time when I read The Cult of Done Manifesto, it very strongly resonated with me. And if you follow the context, you can still hear echoes in so many things uh, that I keep often repeating in many of the subjects that I talk about. How important it is to test things out. How important it is to try new things. How natural it is to make mistakes. And I am sure that there are dozens of more concepts that are smartly buried and can take seeds from within this manifesto. I recently uh, had the chance of remembering it because I am working with a very smart and passionate team and they are now uh, in the process of uh, coming out of uh, the very comfortable and cozy moment in the life of a startup that you could call stealth mode. When no one knows what you are doing, you are not uh, confronting the crude reality of the world. And uh, so many wonderful things are now happening as they are uh, blossoming, but also uh, getting hit uh, by reality, at least with the first punches. One is that uh, their documentation is uh, circulating. Pitch deck, white paper, doesn't matter what it is. And people are trying passionately to poke holes in all those documents. Well, isn't that natural? If everyone were only telling you, oh, wow, this document is great. It is so inspiring. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. What could you learn? How could you improve? So yes, 99% of 100, what you will hear is criticism and very healthy, necessary criticism. So the test is how much do you believe in what you are doing on one hand and on the other, how smartly can you listen and incorporate what actually of the criticism makes sense? 
how can you distinguish between what you can safely discard and what instead matters to you? And of course, I mean, rather than discarding, you have answers that you are able to rapidly develop and adapt or uh, memorize as needed and uh, provide the answer to that criticism without trying to deflect it, acknowledging it, but also letting the other person understand that you actually thought about what they are saying. The other is how they are treating their social media, as if it were so fragile, so brittle. Well, it is not. Actually, by definition, since you are just now coming out of stealth, I can guarantee, actually, it is measurable, objectively. No one is following your social media. Make mistakes. Now is the time. Look at Elon Musk. He has 70 million followers. He still makes plenty of mistakes. Don't treat your uh, social media with gloved hands. Just post. You can always delete. Just uh, reach out. Just make it done.